Hello, welcome to part 6 of the How to Make Gorilla Garden in Roblox series. In this episode, we're going to be making a custom inventory system. It's actually really easy with the help of a free asset in the toolbox. I'll link it in the description. Um, you're going to click it. You're going to click Get Model on the UR, or on the website. And then in Studio, you go into Toolbox. You click over here to My Models or Inventory. It says My Models. It's this one right here. It's called Satchel. You click it, put it in here, and you take this local script right here. You're going to put it into Starter Player and Starter Player Scripts. You can delete the rest of it. And now, you can customize it. So let's see what it looks like without any customizing. That looks really good. This is a little funky the way it uh, wraps like that. But we can change that. We can fix it. So, if you have a longer one that you don't want to kind of get messed up like that, um, you're probably going to want to actually edit the module. For now though, let's edit the background cover. So, I'm going to make it a bit lighter. I'm going to make it a bit more transparent. The equip border cover, I'm going to make this blue, like in Gorilla Garden. And I'm going to make it thinner. Now, text cover, I like white. The text stroke cover, this is all great. Now, when we open the inventory, you can see it looks a little different. If you want to change this to be lighter, then you're going to want to... Oh yeah, and the blue outline. Um, if you want to change this to be uh, lighter, you have to go into the module. So you double click into this satchel one. You press Control F, so you can do uh, get this, and that is up here at line 109, and you can change this. The reason it's like divided by 255 is so you can do it in RGB cover values instead of um, the other ones, which is a lot easier. So I'm gonna put it at like 115, 115, 115. And that makes it a nice white gray. Now, if we check it, see that? That's lighter. The search thing looks a little weird now, though. So, actually, what I'm going to do is I like text stroke. So, I'm going to make it all the way opaque. That looks pretty good. I like that. And now we can click and drag these around. I'm pretty sure this is what Gorilla Garden uses. That's why I was using it. It's because it really seems to be what they use and if we do this we can like search carrot pineapple i'm going to change the text size because i don't like it that big i'm going to try 14. so now if i were to like plant some carrots you know this already looks way nicer now i'm going to harvest some of them harvest some pineapples and as you can see, I could search pineapple, or I could search carrot, and that'll be it for this episode. So, I'm going to start uploading every other day, that way I can deliver higher quality content, and maybe show more than just like one little thing in a video, because this is going to be a really short video. But I don't really have any more time for it today, because if I were to do anything else, it'd be getting into a lot so next episode will probably not be tomorrow but the next day so um yeah thanks for watching feel free to edit this however you like you know change the colors transparency all of that and uh have fun making your game